Hello friends and family, brothers and sisters. We're gonna do you a fire today. I'm gonna use a use old tin flint and steel. See if we can't get it started. And then we're gonna talk about a gentleman uh, who sent me this flint and steel kit and also sent me these uh, Serious Bean Company Sweet and Sassy Dr. Pepper Baked Beans. We're gonna do lunch. We're gonna do lunch together. So let's see if I can't get get her started, get her going today. Last time I tried this, I wanted to do one. I ended up doing something different because I just couldn't get her get her going. Let's see if this time I can get her done. Let me get my flint out. This is the very first flint and steel I had. This gentleman sent me. I wanted to learn, but I didn't have didn't have one, so he sent me this kit here. Had, had to, Bag everything with it. Came with some uh, shirt, flint, and a little bit of uh, charcoal. Well, I've long since used that charcoal. I had to make 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 more, but uh, let's see if we can't get it going. And then we'll talk about the fella. Wish me luck, y'all. Thanks for wishing me luck. There's fire. Go. All right, guy sent me this t whole setup was his name is uh plain old Chuck. This is for you, brother. I call him Uncle Chuck. He 
He sent me this and he said, man, he said, I couldn't find one I wanted to send you. He said, but this one to do. I fire the forge up, I'll make you a new one. But Chuck, this has been working just fine. I appreciate it. You know, send me one other one, that's fine. I accept it. But I want to thank you for giving me my first one and teaching me. Any questions I had, I sent to him about getting the fire started. He he helped me the best he could. And you know, every once in a while, you know, he said, if you're getting frustrated, just take you a cigarette lighter and start on fire. And then calm down, start again to practicing tomorrow. He said, you will catch on. He said, just don't get, get too aggravated where it, because when you get so aggravated, you know, just nothing goes right. He said, just start a fire, get a fire, and then practice more at a different time. Made sense. So, and then I, he did a video on these. I said, where'd you get those? He said, those look, I said, those look good. He, he, uh, he said, some website. Every once in a while, Walmart, he said, carries them according to the website. But I ain't never found a mine, but he sent me one. It's sweet and sassy Dr. Pepper baked beans. I was like, well, I've been waiting. He sent them a long time ago. I had my, my leg broke, and I've been waiting forever to do this video because I want to do it with y'all and share it with y'all. So let's uh, put them on the fire and get them warmed up and see what they like. He said they're good, and I believe him. But I've been waiting forever to try them out. All right. Boom. But, uh, Chuck's an awesome fella, and he's one of the first people to welcome me to the community. He got me started in bushcrafting, and any questions I had, he's a person I could turn to. It feels like he, I call him Uncle Chuck now, I think he gets a kick out of it, but he feels like family, as much help as he, he did, uh, as far as advice and everything, anything, you know. Any questions I had, no matter if I had to ask it a hundred times. Or if I thought it was stupid. He said, don't worry about it. He said, ask it anyway. So, all right. I'm going to put you on pause for a few minutes. And we're going to heat these beans up. And then uh, and I'll bring you back. And we'll, and we'll sample them. Give them a taste. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Let's uh, pull them off and give them a sample. And see what we think. Give him a little stir. A little sweet. You can taste Dr. Pepper in them. I think they're good. I like them. Might be an acquired taste, but you can taste Dr. Pepper. They taste real good. So, uh, that's what I got. Thank you, Uncle Chuck, for everything you've done for me, and, and this goes out for you. Thank you again, Uncle Chuck. I appreciate everything you've done, brother. All right. You know, we're not promised tomorrow, y'all. I know y'all hear this every time, but it's true. Tell somebody you love them, because you don't know what's going to happen. Especially in the way the world is going today. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching my channel.